Taurus Moon, welcome. Welcome to your little mini reading from Balmoral Beach in Sydney, Australia. We are here in this beautiful beach. I just love this place. This is one of my favorite places in the world, I think. I used to come here as a kid. Uh, well, not so much as a kid. As a kid, we used to go to Whale Beach, but I definitely came here more so in my 20s with friends, and I have a lot of good memories here. So let's take a look at what's happening for you Taurus Moon. Taurus Moon, I'm dividing the reading this time into two components. So future and past. These are the two things we're going to look at. Future, what are we looking at? Right. Mars and Rahu are sharing the sign of Gemini from 7 May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. That's happening in your second house. So this is a time where family structure, family dynamics, family patterns can really change. Um, you know, perhaps it's a time to find strategic ways to improve your place within a family structure. Perhaps you will be finding strategic ways to help others within your family structure as well. Um, this is really a time to breathe new life into your family structure. It could be a restructuring of family finances. Uh, and there could be movement in terms of family. You might be traveling to be with your family, you know. So this is really a time to maneuver yourself to make the most of potential changes within the family structure. The past that you'll have to deal with. So for that, I was really looking at Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. And that's happening in your seventh house. So. This is where you could be traversing old ground in terms of your business or in terms of your relationship with your spouse. So think back to the start of the year, what was going on. So we're really looking at those months, January, February, March, and there could be a repeat of some things that were going on in, in those months. And that's to do with seven house matters, that's to do with business or relationship. So what was happening then that might happen again now? This is a good transit, this could be good for travel, this could be good for business, good for expansion. Uh, however, you may be covering some old ground in some way. Now, next door to this Jupiter retrograde, you've got Saturn K through conjunction happening next door. So let's just check in with that and see how that's going. I did a video about that where I termed it, I think, a new surge of awakening. So through old things, new light is coming through with that conjunction. So here what I want to say is look out for new illumination in your family. Again, it's a family thing. And with in-laws and or with in-laws and or in relation to assets or other people's money. Okay, so that's clearly eighth house. And um, yeah, that's what we've got going on there, Taurus Moon. And the other thing I really wanted to say this time was that if you feel that you're stuck in a lot of past, or you're stagnant, things aren't moving, things are a bit hard, go into the future. Really put your free will energy into the future and really try to build the future there and, and get something going new, fresh and new in the area of the future. So Taurus Moon, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you like this location as much as I do. Over the coming months, we're going to explore Australia. Well, Sydney anyway. And um, you'll get to see more of this beautiful city. So thank you so much for stopping by. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks. And this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?